Hi, welcome to Talking and Reading from Japan. I'm your host, Hidemi Woods. I read an episode from the books I wrote and talk about it or talk about anything else. I just feel like it. I hope you enjoy with me. Today, I read an episode from one of my books titled An Old Tree in Kyoto. Today's episode is called My Uncle's Jobs. This is about my uncle's unused business cards that I found in the drawer one day. My uncle's jobs. I lived with my uncle until I was 80 years old. He had drifted from one job to another since the time since the time long before I was born. He once started the soft drink business with a relative and his friend, which failed. Then he started the bathroom floor pads business with my other uncle, which also failed. As my grandfather couldn't stand to see his financial aid wasted anymore, he had my uncle hired at a Honda used car dealership by a family connection. Now that my uncle got a steady job with a fixed income, my grandfather was so happy that he placed a large order for my uncle's business cards at the print shop, which, by the way, was run by his brother-in-law at the back of our house. Sadly, though, my uncle quit the job after several years without any consultation. He found a new job at a gas station, got married, and left our house. One day, I was playing alone in the living room and doodling. I ran out of paper and began to ramage the drawers. I found a box filled with my uncle's unused business cards. Even as a little kid, I knew he had changed his job, and therefore, those cards were completely useless. I was doodling on the back of the cards when my grandfather called me. He got furious and told me never use them as pieces of paper. It sounded pointless to me, and I asked him what use they had. He replied, That's not the point. These are expensive, and you can't use them. He tucked the box back into the drawer carefully while I was wondering who would use them then. A few months later, my father and I went for a drive to fill up the car at the gas station where my uncle worked. My father looked into the office to say hello to him, but he wasn't there. The manager told my father that my uncle had quit. He was smiling to me back in the car, although apparently he seemed dismayed. We drove back home silently. That was today's episode. My uncle was a funny man, and he was always noisy and joking around, fooled around. <clears throat> and uh, that was quite different. His character was so different from other members of my family. 
as my grandparents and my father were all quite quiet and didn't like someone noisy. But、um, my uncle was opposite to them and he was always <clears throat> making them unpleasant and sullen. With his、uh, jest, he's a jester. He was a jester. And、uh, he was, to be honest, he was quite annoying. Even to me, who was still a, a small child, he was. Joking too much. And、uh, when we lived together, I didn't quite like him. And、uh, he was、uh, um he was funny, but he was. Not a serious man, so he it seemed he didn't face his own life quite seriously. To him, everything was, I think, everything looked to him as kind of. Jokes. And so after、um, he was、uh, graduated from high school, he didn't try to、um, look for a job seriously himself. My grandfather always took care of him all through his. Life regarding his career. In that、um, case,、uh, he, even high school, when、um, my uncle、um, got to high school, my grandfather was. So worried about his school. He, my grandfather thought he, my uncle, wouldn't be accepted any good schools. So my grandfather thought he had to do something for my uncle. To get in a, a decent school. So he, my grandfather, visited his、um, the school he, he himself was graduated from. And he asked the principal of that school to let my uncle get in that school. And so Quite the, the early point of my uncle's life, my grandfather took care of him. So,、um, because my grandfather thought it was necessary, especially for my uncle. And、uh, he took care of his high school, and after that,、um, Almost all the jobs my uncle got were from my grandfather's connections or his acquaintances or anything that my grandfather worked for my uncle to get a decent job. 
so and uh, my uncle um, tried to uh, start his own business for several times and each time my grandfather uh, aided him financially he chipped in some money but uh, every attempt my uncle made uh, ended as a failure sadly and I uh, he once uh, started the soft drink business and uh, uh, in that particular summer Japan was unusually cool it was a rare cool summer so my uncle was out of luck and it um he couldn't get uh enough orders to maintain he, his business because that summer was too cool for soft drinks and uh <clears throat> it uh, was terminated I remember I uh, I used to play at the back of my house. There was a, a my relative's house stood at the back of our house, and that house, that relative's house, <clears throat> had a had a large uh, yard, the front yard, and. At the corner of that front yard, there was a huge refrigerator that was abandoned for so many years. And it was a, a big fridge that was um, fit in the back of the pickup truck, at the, uh, the business use refrigerator and uh, I used to uh, play the play in that fridge I used the fridge as a that fridge was oh, of course was long gone broken and no one used it was just abandoned and it was just left there and it, it got rusty and uh, rusty and um, it's old and brownish and and I thought it was uh, no one used that anymore it was it looked thrown away so I I was small enough to get in inside the fridge and I uh, <clears throat> played there as a, uh, by using it as my uh, secret uh, secret station. It's like um, in a spy movie was my undercover center, <laughs> and I at that time I didn't know that was a sad relic relic from my uncle's failed business um also he failed the uh, next uh, enterprise that was a bathroom mat a bathroom pad business was a, um, a soft uh, thing pads he was trying to sell 
by taking orders. So business was also、uh, run with one of my relatives. And my uncle、um, received financial aid from my grandfather that time too. And uh, uh, it doesn't matter whether、uh, it did matter whether it was cool or hot, that business was. Uh, that business failed regardless of weather. And、um, <clears throat> uh, I still lived, lived with my uncle so, at that time. So there were so many bathroom pads. All around our house because they were all unsold and s- stocked inside our house. So his unsold bathroom pads are all around our house and、uh, We used them as、uh, not only in the bathroom of our house, but everywhere. We used them as carpets. <laughs> And uh, uh, also, uh, he sold um, this, um, the split, split short curtains. Which was made of the same、uh, materials of that bathroom pads. And on the floor, it was the sea of bathroom pads, unsold pads. And、um, every corner. Of each room, there were split curtains, <laughs> unsold curtains、uh, were hanging.、Um, sadly, <laughs> um, it、uh, combined with the pads. They all look so, looked so、um, s- uh, sad and sort of shabby. And,、uh, um, and finally, my grandfather stopped chipping in his money into his own business. And he、uh, found a job at a, a car dealership, a Honda used car dealership,、uh, uh, out of his, one of his connections, <clears throat> and introduced that job to my uncle. And he took it. And at first, he seemed happy. To be there, or maybe pretended to be happy there, because I think being a, a salesman of a car dealership n e e d to be smooth tongued.、Um, Mm, good crafty man, but my uncle was not anything of those things. He 
was rustic, uncouth. So, to me, it's it was almost impossible for my uncle to be a to be to work as a salesman at the car dealership. He. I suppose he couldn't do it, and、uh, I guess he didn't、um, sell so many cars there, and、uh, he wasn't happy about working there. But、um, because it was my grandfather's、um, introduction,、uh, because he, my uncle, used my grandfather's connection, it was hard for him to quit. So he maybe endured. So. A few years, but he just simply couldn't stand it any longer, and、uh, he one day he just quit. Ah,、uh, but my grandfather, for some reason, kept、uh, his my uncle's business cars. Of that dealership、uh, in the drawer, as if they were treasures. And,、uh, I, as a, a small child, I didn't understand what use they could be. So it. To me, it was better to use when I doodle than just being kept there forever. But my grandfather just、um, didn't allow me to use it as a as notepads, and、uh, he, for some reason. Really kept it as treasures.、Um, I don't know who found a job at a gas station that my uncle got after that dealership.、Um, but he started working at a gas station. And、uh, just um, uh, a few months later,、uh, we, as I read, I we I visited my uncle with my father at the gas station, but he wasn't there. He had already quit, and、uh, that occasion also. None of our family members are informed about his quit quitting. So my father was so surprised, because、um, my uncle was, my uncle had left home, because he got married. So he, my uncle, absolutely needed the fixed income. To support the family, so my father wouldn't imagine he, my uncle, would quit so easily or so、uh, soon after he got the new job. So my father was so surprised, and、uh, he gave me a wan smile, and we. 
really yeah, you know, we drove drove back home uh in a really sunken mood depressing mood and I didn't know what happened afterwards but I'm sure my father at one point told my grandfather about my uncle's job. So my grandfather must have known afterwards that my uncle quit the gas station, quit his job again. And uh, <clears throat> it's easy for me to imagine how devastating my it was to my grandfather. He thought he must have thought <coughs> my uncle couldn't stay in uh, in a fixed job. He just kept drifting. So I wonder how disappointed again my <coughs> grandfather was that time. Well, that was all for today. Thanks for listening. Uh, I'm Hitemi Woods. I hope you come back here again soon. Uh, until next time, take care and be well.